Okay, did you hear that, Tammy? Okay. And that's everybody else's reminder too that we broadcast live on YouTube. And we are live. Okay. Well, good. We'll go ahead and uh, get started. This is the Joint Urban Renewal Agency, Salem Housing Authority, and City Council Boards and Commissions Appointments Committee uh, meeting. Uh, and if uh, we just sound off, uh, who's here? Bennett? Or Anderson? Sorry. Alice. Okay, very good. Got all four members here. Uh, we'd like to start off with the volunteer recognition nominations. We haven't gotten a lot, but go ahead, Lynn. Did you want to take us through this? Okay, very good. Well, as you can see, we had award nominations in four categories. The most uh, prolific was the At Your Service Award nominations with six. So you can talk about those a little bit. And then of course, next is Distinguished Project with one nomination, Mayor's Merit with two. And then we have the Outstanding Neighbor Award, which actually had four nominations as well. We used the electronic online nomination forms this year that Kathy and our office created. They're, they're wonderful and I'm so glad she did it. It, it moved us into the 21st century with uh, nomination forms, but they are a little bit difficult to sift through. And so I went and highlighted the names and the particular awards that folks were nominated for to try and help guide you through the document a little more quickly. So. I'll let you, you want to start with that, your service mayor, or? Well, you know, I'm taking, I'm taking a look at these and I've got, a, I've got a question, just sort of try this out on you, is what about just uh, everybody gets an award? Is, <laughs> I mean, I, quite honestly, I hate to trim this down to four awards. One of the things we used to do was the Distinguished Service Award, and we might have 20 people up to receive a distinguished service award for the variety of work that goes on. And uh, I, I looking through, I don't see anyone who doesn't deserve the award that's being suggested. And, and uh, one of the discussion items I've run into is we're starting to hand out too few recognition awards for the level of volunteer service we get. So Chris? Yeah, I, I agree with you, Mr. Mayor. I think that anybody that took the time to volunteer uh, during the time of COVID and had somebody make the effort to recognize them through this application process. I think they deserve our recognition and I, I agree with you. Okay, thank you. Uh, Tom? Yeah, I, I think what you were saying, uh, Mr. Mayor, is that we normally give four awards and so right. we've got six candidates for four awards or- Well, you, what we've got are uh, uh, actually, we give out to just trying to figure out how many, awards, you know, we have a whole variety of awards we can do. Okay. Uh, these are the ones that, uh, uh, where we have nominations. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, well, uh, I thought what we were saying is all six of these people will get the at, at, at your service award. Is that That's your correct. I think, I think he's talking about all four categories. So yes, you're correct, Tom, plus okay. one person in Distinguished Project the two people in Mayor's Merit and the four people in Outstanding Oh, Neighbors. I'm sorry. Yeah, that wasn't clear, I guess. I meant to say all of the folks nominated okay, in okay, their no, category no, yeah, get thank, their award. Thanks for that explanation. I understand that. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. I mean, I'm, I'm happy to say everybody who got nominated gets an award. I only had one question about the At Your Service Award, and that is Minto Brown and Center 50. We've given them that award in the past, haven't we? Some award? I don't mind we at different times we have. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, and I, I, I really appreciate uh, personally Chris's comment that if you're doing anything, COVID yeah. would put you out yeah. in the. Yeah. No. In the, does that. I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm are you? Okay. That. Yeah. Now that we got the four four categories, not the four people in one. Yeah, category. I'm sorry, that I, I, that really wasn't clear. Well, okay. Chris understood it, and I guess Jose uh, understood it, yeah. so <laughs> my bad. 
What do you think, Jose? You got no. any, any thoughts yeah. on it? No, I, I that's a, no, I appreciate the idea. Um, also, oh, I'm also for it. But, you know, I'm also thinking maybe like the Salem Spirit Award. If, I'm not sure how we do this, if we even do it. But some of these groups that we have, uh, like Mr. Uh, Tom Anderson mentioned, uh, given gotten these awards before, maybe we put them in a different category because there's some of these that weren't filled, like the Salem Spirit. It recognizes individual groups of people that have frequently been behind efforts to better the city. So that's just an idea. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. So we would move um, maybe the Minto Island uh, yeah. volunteer park. Minto Island is center spirit. fifty plus. Yeah, move those, those are the two ones that I think have gotten spirit. before. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, yeah, it sounds like they're consistently behind. You know, doing. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. No, that's a great idea. And it okay. fits spirit. They're, they're. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, a great, that's yeah, that's really good. Really so good. that's Minto and Center Fifty Plus then for Salem Spirit. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Sure. Um, one that uh, I don't see here, the, like the Bird Miller and the... There were no nominations. I, I, let me try. Have you guys got any thoughts on like the Bird Miller or any of those? Those are our fairly big awards. i tell you one I'd, I was thinking maybe with the Bird Miller, um, we, we've done husband and wife teams and stuff. I'm kind of thinking of... Um, uh, Van Oz, the, the guys that put together the um, Jerry Frank. Yeah, Ken Rotary. Van Osdell. Yeah, Ken, Ken Van Osdell and, and uh, Barry, Nelson. Barry Nelson. As soon as you mentioned the, the Vern Miller Award, that's exactly, before you've said anything about those guys, that's exactly who popped into my head. So yeah, yeah. I, def I definitely agree. I, I think that, does that okay with everybody? I think they'd yeah. be really nice. They yeah. They're being recognized a lot. They should be. This was a massive undertaking. They really yeah. accomplished so well. And it yeah. looks fantastic. I, it really does. It really, it's pretty remarkable. I'm still uh, taken aback by the fact that it's done. Um, great. I, I, why don't we? Why don't we put them down for that one? Then, if everybody's okay. Ken and Barry Vern, Vern Miller. Yeah. Got it. What was the other one? The Marshall. Willard Marshall. What's it? That's presented to a person who has contributed the most to the city during a given year. You know, I. What, do you guys have any thoughts on that one? That one's one of the bigger awards that we get, that at least historically we've given out. I kind of look at, uh, I'm trying to think. I don't know. I would How maybe about, ask maybe ask Gretchen, um, somebody who is a volunteer in the homeless community, somebody who's doing some good work there. Is what about like Jimmy? What about he's like a Jimmy? volunteer? But no, yeah. he's not. I mean, it's his work, but he's sort of. Uh, he's a kind of. Without him on deck, it'd be a. We'd have to find a lot of all hands. Absolutely uh, I'm, no. I'm I'm all for recognizing him if it fits. Uh, the other would be, uh, you know, one of the remarkable projects, and I, it's one of those, I got to admit, I didn't know it would go as well as it did, was uh, the UGM project. And I thought uh, Dan Clem uh, really rose to a very high level of, of uh, accomplishment with that one. I, I really, I know, again, he's not a volunteer. Uh, I'm pretty uh, somehow recognizing, and I'm thinking of the homeless. I really like your idea of the homeless. The other would be a church at the park. Um, and, and I don't know those folks. Do you, Chris, who the T yeah. VJ Vincent? Yeah, VJ Vincent. Is the leader. Um, I know them a bit because that's my ward. And uh, among the three of them, I'm really interested in Jimmy Jones. Uh, I agree with you about uh, uh, Dan Clem, Mr. Mayor, but uh, that's a, a, a narrower focus of the yeah. homeless issue. Jimmy is much is broader, so well, Jimmy's that, that just, would be my thought. Yeah, Jimmy has just been such a a gem for. I mean, it really, a, I think, a, a, like a gift to the community in a lot of ways in this homeless area. Just his vision, his understanding. Uh, if he had done nothing but that data system he's developed, mm -hmm. it would have been, it's made, a, I think, a lot of difference having an understanding of who's out there, if that makes sense. Yeah. Would Jimmy be, would people be 
I think it also recognizes Arches and the Community Action Agency for the yeah. work they're doing. Would that, that be yeah, a it, broader scope than just UGM? Okay. Jackson, you're not in your head. Yeah, definitely. No, he was at a neighborhood meeting last night. I mean, he's in Boston right now at a conference. And so he was at one of our my neighborhood meetings until I think it was 8.30 our time. So oh, like my 11, God. 11. Yeah, so <laughs> he's uh, above definitely. and beyond. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, if that's if that's okay, we'll do those two then. Uh, any other? Okay. Okay. Great. Well, I know you've got a couple in mind, and then we've talked to Peter Fernandez about a special Richard Swire. Oh, okay. Well, Public Works Award. Bring us, bring us up to those. Okay. Well, this was something the mayor had talked about, and he and Peter Fernandez talked about honoring. Richard Swires, who is a former public works employee who passed away suddenly what, last, early last year, I think like last April, maybe. And so Peter was going to contemplate and then present to the mayor an idea or two for a special award in, in Richard's honor uh, of some public works and employee or employee group that perhaps went above and beyond this past year. There was a possibility of maybe a group who helped during the ice storm, uh, you know, something like that. I just, I haven't heard back from Peter yet. I know he was contemplating it, however. You you all, did you all know Richard? Uh, I, he was someone I worked with. Yeah, I knew him uh, actually pretty well after 15 years, you got to know these guys. Uh, but Richard, um, Re and the way I saw this, this is I was in talking with uh, Peter. Uh, this is kind of he was a leader in the AFSME local and a, a really major player in the AFSME uh, activities, uh, representing them often at council meetings and things over the years. And Richard was one of these guys they would call out any time of the day or night to do. Uh, you know, the kind of job that public works guys do. I mean, he, he worked, uh, he worked in the street, in the water, in the, in the, in the real trenches, uh, figuratively and really. And uh, he was a go-to guy on all community festivals when we asked, asked me to help us set up. And I thought that having one that honored him also helped honor the AFSCME uh, portion of our employee base. Mr. Mayor, what about the Mayor's Merit Award? I don't think that anybody's been nominated for that. Not yet. I think this is more of a this is more of a name it for Richard kind of thing. He was a big. I, I went to it. The, Steve and I went to his funeral. I mean, we're talking a couple hundred of our employees were there. This guy was a big deal. Uh, if you're talking, know him, it just I understand, but he was a just very. To clarify, big, just to clarify, Tom, the mayor is talking about creating a new category. A new I'm award. sorry, yeah. Called the Richard Swires Award. And I would hope over time in the future, there would be real interest in looking at our, asking somehow in our employee base, looking at those, uh, whatever it is, 1,200 AFSCME or 900 AFSCME people for this kind of employee, this kind of really dedicated employee or employee group uh, that steps up. And, and uh, I, I think we find a very positive uh, reaction from the union to this. So are you saying the award would be called the Richard Squires Award and the first uh, uh, person who gets the award nominated posthumously would be Richard Squires? No, it would be named for Richard and then uh, okay. what we'll do is I, I've asked Peter to kind of give me a suggestion. Um, and I could do a mayor's award and just say in honor of Richard. I just think it's, we don't have one that really honors that kind of service action we get out of some of our employees. We, get some, we have some pretty remarkable people. Uh, and I'm particularly looking at that AFSCME section. We get... We do some with the cops. We do some with the firefighters. We don't do as much with that uh, more rank and file employee. And that's kind of what I was thinking of. That's fine. But I, I, I would certainly understand if it strikes you, we, we need more thought on it. I'm more than willing to well, stand back on it, whatever. 
I don't. Uh, I think it's a good idea for the reasons you talked about, recognizing another big part of the the city. Um, but why can't we just give him the first award and then it'd be the Richard Squires award from that point on? Then we don't yeah. have to get Peter and us involved in another meeting and and come up with uh, uh, you know the uh, uh, an employee we would want to give the Richard Squires award to. I like that idea too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we could. There is the problem is there's not a lot of uh, Richard Swire's people to receive it. We could give it to the union president and uh, say this will be an ongoing award. But we felt the first yeah. recipient should be Richard. Yeah. However, it's uh, it's awarded, and whoever receives it, that's up to uh, you know the, the staff and and you know if he doesn't have any family or you know any of that kind of stuff. Right. The only president. the only reason I, I would just think about it just for a second is we had this ice storm this year that was an incredible event that involved a whole bunch of our employees. But there were a couple of squads of these guys that were out there. I had one come by my plane. This is what kind of prompted me. Uh, this, uh, this small group of guys uh, came by and, and uh, you know, cleared, cleared our street, essentially, of a tree that went over. And they had been out for, for days uh, doing just that kind of work. And it was, it was terrible weather. You know, you know what I mean? It's that, it's that kind of dedication. I know they're getting paid, but they're not, they're not getting rich, as we, we all know, having looked at the contract uh, working for us. So it's kind of, and, you know, they're working long hours, uh, I don't know. I, I was thinking it'd be good to, because of the ice storm, maybe to, to take an opportunity. That's the one I recommended. Now, whether Peter agrees with me, I don't know. Um, but I, I had pretty much, that was kind of my thinking, but we could do Richard either way, whichever you guys, I just want you to be comfortable with this. I'm comfortable with it either way. I like the idea of the ice storm folks. Also, I think that the, the cleanup of, uh, Cascade Gateway and oh. uh, Wallace Marine. I mean, that's been a oh my a god, next... that's right. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'll. I, in fact, that may well be what Peter comes up with is because that's going to be really fresh in his mind. That's been incredible. Well, I, I agree with Councillor Hoy. Either way is fine. Okay. And, and you know, why don't we? We've we've got a couple. We've got three options now. Richard Squires award to Richard Squires posthumously. We've got the. Uh, ice storm and we've got uh, parks cleanup and and any one of those three would be fine with me would you guys all be okay if we come up with one and we'll surprise you or do you want me to check in okay okay great i will communicate that information to you when it becomes available okay great thank you now what what else do we have uh well so i don't know if you wanted to talk about mayor's award at all you'd mentioned david <laughs> bean you would <laughs> okay, I, you know, I yeah. uh, I get to give out, if I want to, mayor's awards, okay? Uh, whichever one of you guys becomes mayor, you get to put out mayor's awards. Uh, but I, I've got a guy I have dealt with for a very long time. He's here at City Hall, uh, David Beam. I don't know if you all know David. Mm. Do you know David? David is just a great human being who takes his commitment to public service very seriously. Is he the guy with cards? Yes. Yeah, that's he's David. Like hand out the cards at the Capitol building. Yeah, I know. Yep. That's David. And he's at the Capitol building. He's at the courthouse. He's down here. And I just like to give it, I mean, he, he really is a, a very committed person. He's a, a very high, he's special needs. Uh, and he's been here in Salem all his life, and I just thought I'd recognize David for the tremendous uh, work he's done representing the ADA community. Yeah, it's really the uh, ADA community. And the housing has been another um, priority. But I'm, I'm just going to, as a, it's just a mayor's award, and if you all have anyone that you can think of you'd like to have me uh, uh, put on put on the list. They're just a 
what I'm trying to do is make sure we beef up our recognition of people doing stuff and do it with different people in different categories. So if you think of something, please feel free to contact me uh, and, and we just talk about it because because there are there are so many special people in this town and every once in a while you want to hand them some <laughs> something besides a handshake. You know what I mean? It's uh and people, it's surprising how much people appreciate, uh, not surprising, actually. I think we all enjoy some recognition for our work. So, mm -hmm. okay. Any, any other on this portion? Okay. Let's go ahead then. Oh, and I did, yeah, okay. Citizens Budget Committee. What do we got? We have three candidates who are all eligible or qualify for the at-large partial term, which expires next June 30th. Uh, Diane DeCarma actually uh, what served in that capacity and resigned three or four months ago. And she reapplied because I guess she had some circumstances that she felt as if she couldn't commit but now she's back because I guess she feels like she can recommit to the position. Okay. So you're off, Chris. Sorry. Okay. That's okay. Sorry. I would like to advocate for Stacy Vieira Brendel. Um, Ward six has a very small number of, rep of representation on any of our boards and commissions. I don't know Stacy personally. All I know is what I read on this document, but I would like to increase the representation from East Salem, and uh, I think she could do that. Okay. Any, anyone else? Um, I like the Mr. Bailey, of course, being a member of my guild, but I, I, I don't have <laughs> any real real objection. I think if Chris, if the Ward 6 thing, I, I will... Somebody else I thought I wrote, uh, somebody else I wrote, she's Ward 6. So I understand that that is sometimes a, an yeah. issue as opposed to the more inner wards. So, right. you know, what do you think, Jose? I'm any, with her. You okay? Yeah. All okay with me. Thanks, man. Okay. Okay. Then okay I, I, had another thought. I had another thought here, Mr. Mayor. Oh, sorry. On ward 4 term. Uh, there was a guy. Um, a businessman who applied for the community police review board named Brent Southen, um, Ward Four, and uh, you know he, he, I think he only applied for this job, but I also thought he sounds like he's uh, 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 from what he did. It uh, sounds like he might be a good uh, member of the budget committee, and um, we need a Ward Four member. We'll uh, follow up with him and see if he'd be willing to uh, apply, uh, you know, kind of adjust his application to include the budget committee. Uh, we won't put him on both. Uh, yeah. So if you decide no. to put him on the review board, uh, that wouldn't that, that you, you're, you're on the budget committee and you're not on much else. Is yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, okay. of, uh, of our choices. Uh, uh, well, yeah. I, I would not be in favor of him on the community police review board. I mean, I think there are other candidates, but uh, um, I think okay. it would be good if he's a business person, that's a good person to have on the budget committee. Okay, we'll follow up. With I will him. reach out. Okay, so uh, is everybody in favor then of Stacy as our uh, budget committee, or did you want to do interviews, or should we just go ahead with Stacy? Okay. okay. Everybody okay? Okay. All right. What else we got? Well, since CPRB is probably going to take the most time, do you want to go through Planning Commission and West Salem first? or yeah. Why don't we go ahead with that? Uh, West Salem, we've got Jason Stats. He showed, he's been to some meetings, and I thought his... Uh, uh, um, uh, he owns a business, and I thought he has made some good comments, and he's the only one we've got who's That's applied. Right. <laughs> Virginia texted me a little bit ago advocating for him as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I was, I've been impressed with what I've seen with, of him. 
Great. And then we're all in favor of Jason's stats for the yep. uh, redevelopment board in West Salem. Okay. All right. What else we got? Did you say? We have planning commission with two applicants. I forwarded the information to Lisa Anderson Ogilvie yesterday just to touch base and see if she had any feedback for you. And, and she doesn't know either of them. So she really didn't have um, a lot to contribute other than she wanted me to remind you that there are only two commissioners can be engaged in real estate. And there is one person who on the planning commission already, uh, Commissioner Levin, who is engaged. And so that means there would only be, they can only have one more person in real estate on the commission, which is uh, the category in which Mr. Uh, Robert Birma would fall under based on his stated uh, occupation. Um, so, uh, and, and Lisa also uh, in a note uh, suggested it would, it's always helpful to have somebody who's involved in land use plan, you know, as a planner on the, on the committee. And uh, the only, probably the only drawback for, for her is she might have to recuse herself now and then. Well, so does everybody else. Yeah. You know? I mean, Shane, Shane, Shane Griggs does, has to do it when her yeah, husband everybody does. involved in things. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if anything happens in your neighborhood, you're pretty yeah. much, yeah, yeah, and that's that's really not a problem. So I I would suggest we look at the planner. Her name's Daisy. Daisy. Oh. Daisy Goble. Yeah, I'm I'm in favor of her. Anyone else got everybody okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, I have another thought about uh, 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 Mr. Bierma. I don't know where his office is, but I wrote down um, West Salem Advisory Board. I don't. I. I. I think we might. We might be short somebody there. And uh, I'm looking at uh, where's his application here. Um, he lives in Northwest, 672 Cascade Drive, but I suspect that probably is not um, a resident of own business or a resident of the uh, the downtown, the Salem, the West Salem. urban renewal area. I would yeah. have to double check, but. Yeah, if I remember correctly, if you live in Ward 8, you don't, you automatically don't live in that urban renewal area. I don't think any part of that urban renewal area okay. goes into Ward it's 8. It's pretty much Ward 1. Yeah. Uh, it's right. that That's Edgewater. Fine. That's fine, man. That's fine. I just, right. the the old, whatever they call it, the Edgewater neighborhood, the old flats. Yeah, okay. okay. But not the flats. Okay. No, I didn't say that. Okay. No. No. <laughs> okay. So Daisy, moving forward. Daisy, you know, Daisy. go forward. Okay. We've got those taken care of. Okay. Community Police Review Board. Okay, Gretchen, tell us a little about this because I, I want to make sure everybody's on the same page as to what this bunch does and what it doesn't do. And uh, uh, and and do we have other folks working on other aspects of the police that uh, might be more of more interest? So could you kind of get us in or get us a little oriented? I would be happy to. Um, this is one of several mechanisms for our community to assist and provide oversight and input into the work of policing in Salem. Um, the chief has launched a board that is advisory to our chief and works through a variety of broad-based operations. Um, this board in particular, um, including after a review of the recent audit findings, um, certainly reaffirms its role, which is to review unresolved complaints against the police department. Um, it also um, certainly wants to welcome and talk with people who have a concern and will work carefully to ensure that we make sure that they get to the right processes to address needs. And they also review um, uh, uh, policy, new policy, as well as revisions to policy from time to time and look at statistics. Um, a chief need in this committee is the ability to set aside any preconceived ideas and, and to be objective so that people can 
come to the board and trust and know that they will receive um, a real open ear, both the people who have unresolved complaints and issues and the officers who are um, named in the issues, both need to be able to come to the board and receive objective review. So most of all, uh, that objectivity um, is really key as you sift the applications. How, how uh, often does it meet on its uh, mission? Thank you. The board meets quarterly and works hard to be prepared for case reviews. And then when it gets a case review, it could meet more, more often as needed for that work. How many case reviews do they get each year? Not very many. Um, we were averaging about one every 18 months, and I would say that's declined even further. We certainly get inquiries from time to time that we work to assist, and sometimes it's a question um, that's based in maybe a, a not understanding a law. Other times it is um, something that once we open an investigation, the person is satisfied with the result of that investigation. Maybe discipline was provided or there was a misunderstanding that gets cleared up. And then in those situations, they don't emerge to board review. Okay. So has everybody got a pretty good vision of what this is and isn't? Okay. Well, we've got, uh, let me, let me, because I've been over these, I've taken a, tried to take a fairly close look at it. We've got some, uh, um, a couple that are non-residents, and I want to just point those out, because I think we still have a, a large number of resident applicants. So I want to at least alert you, uh, Jose, uh, Angel Arenda Pena is a non-resident, Leah Brooks, and David Reinhold. Now, David Reinhold, we have had on our, he's on our Human Rights Commission. Uh, he has been on a couple of other boards and commissions, as I recall, Gretchen. Including uh, this one. Including this one, yeah. I mean, this is a continuing uh, guy, um, I, I personally, since David will do it, and David is a guy who attends and does the job, I, I would suggest because he's one of the ones we can, that we could just move forward, unless there's any problem with that. Um, I, I don't have any uh, uh, issue with that. Uh, I, I was on the same thing, uh, Aaron Hall, uh, who's been an alternate Wants to wants to be considered for a regular position. I think, uh, yeah, Gretchen, you're nodding your head. She shows yeah. up. She, so I I would put her forth too. Okay. And Why then, don't we look at those two and and see can we can we agree on those uh, yeah. that that getting those folks who are already on that have a record of participation now. That how has uh, is there any question from your perspective, Gretchen, on any on those two? No, they, they both have been terrific um, contributions into the team and provide good representation also. I appreciate both of them. Great. And, Is uh, everybody okay then? We'll move those two forward. Yeah. Okay. May I, may I clarify? There are two partial term positions and two full term positions. Would you... We'll do the two fulls for those two. Designate them to the two full? Wouldn't you say? I mean, isn't that okay? Yeah. These okay are people me. wanting to, okay. Yeah, yeah, they'll get the two fulls. Now we have two, what do what we have then? Two partials? Two partial terms. And then if you move Aaron forward to a regular position, there would be that alternate, alternate. two available as well. I, I'd like to suggest uh, Lori Lassen. Lori is an attorney and she's also a senior citizen. And I, I just think that that is not a bad thing in terms of trying to diversify that uh, that board to have a, a woman and particularly a, 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 an elder. Well, not as old as I am, but. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't have any objection to that. I would also, I would put forth uh, Oni Marchbanks, who has really been involved in things. And I, I uh, Gretchen smiling. She sometimes, um, I don't know, um, is a little enthusiastic about things, I guess I would say. But you think she can, 
Can she operate without bias? I had problems with her operating well, without here's bias. My suggestion. My suggestion is we make her the alternate. So okay. then we can, we can see, you know. That's we, a good, I, good we thought. We can see how it works. That's a good thought, Tom. Okay. Then I have one other thing, and I realized I had the wrong Brent for the uh, for the budget committee. It wasn't the other Brent who was younger. It's this Brent, Brent Salvin, who is a prior military police. He runs a franchise with 31 stores all over the state. I yeah, mean, he's, he's, like he's he would be the, guy, he's the budget guy, not the other Brent. This is the oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So this, but I this who I thought you were talking about was this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I thought I was too, but okay. I just I just oh, wrote Brent, the and there were two Brents. Yeah. So I this is Brent Salvin, not Brent Bierma. I think his name was Brent Salvin. Seems to be the, the one who we ought to see if he'd be interested in the budget committee because he's Ward Four, and that's why we need somebody. Yeah. What about? Uh, Carlos Flores uh, for the uh, other partial. That's fine. Would that be okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think we got it then. No, I'm. i Can you tell me who the other partial term would be? Because Oni was. You were looking at alternate two for Oni March Banks. But yeah, Lori Lassen would be. The Thank other you. Partial. I'm sorry. Yes, okay. Lori. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everybody okay? Okay, excellent. And then uh, we'll just uh, now that I know we have the right Br Brent, <laughs> yeah, we'll, well, we'll check and see if he might be interested in the budget committee for Ward 4. Right. We'll reach out to him. Yeah, we'll Not reach out to him. But, yeah, good. Thank you, Tom. Okay, is there any other business for us? If you have any thoughts on awards beyond what we have, uh, let me know because we've got these. I can I can put out a mayor's award, and they're they're a nice they're a nice thing. So, uh, and we we delayed the recognition event uh, because of COVID. So we'll be doing that at some point, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or we will learn to live with COVID the rest of our lives. I don't know which comes first now. Okay. Gretchen has a Gretchen, I'm sorry. No problem. I'd like to double check one detail. When we were doing the volunteer nominations, I remember you had taken all of the at your service, but I just wanted to double check that you meant to take all of the other categories as well. I, yes, I think we did. We, we clarified that. Uh, yeah, Tom, that, that, yeah. that was my issue too. That was I Tom's didn't issue it. was to get that clarified. Yeah. Thank you. Great. Okay. Great. Well, thank you guys very much. See you later. Stay